My name is Wesley Clark. Uh, I'm an artist based out of Hyattsville, Maryland. The studio is currently in College Park, Maryland. Um, and primarily, my work is sculptural based. I have a background in painting, and so for quite a while, there was a divergence between the two. I kind of shifted fully into painting, I mean, excuse me, fully into sculpture with things coming off the wall. Um, but more recently, I've started to kind of come back and, and begin to merge the two a lot more. Uh, a lot of the works in the past have been um, making these hybrid forms, in a sense, of you know, things that are somewhat recognizable, but yet adding another uh, element to them to, that just changes their nature just a bit to, to add a little interest, but also talking about social and political issues uh, often faced by African Americans here in the U.S. Um, moving forward, more recently, I've gotten into doing a lot more public artwork, uh, and so that type of work has just been expansive from bronze sculptures to concrete sculptures, um, again, more uh, mural painting, things of that nature. But when it comes back to the private practice, so to speak, um, I've been diving back into just being a little bit more expressive from an internal point of view. And um, often, for instance, right now, the drawings that I'm currently working on would be uh, graphite expressions that are using a lot of erasure and a lot of the energy. And a lot of that kind of work is kind of built up from over years. However, it's expressing itself in kind of a new format. Um, and where oftentimes I'm taking a word or a particular image and using that as my jumping point to then go off into the abstract. Um, oftentimes that, me that work in particular is fueled by uh, go-go music based out of here in DC, uh, very percussive based music. So the energy in that line work and what's taking place is very much a part of that. Now I bring that up because my current work that, I'm, that that's taking place is also kind of bringing that into the sculptural form, uh, in the form with the, in particular with color, and so it's kind of some some of the energy that you'll see in this piece behind me, which is labeled "God Speak," um, is you know bringing some of that energy with it, some of the lines, some of the scratching, some of the the things that are taking place here. For me. The title is about, is, is, is really more, less about saying, you know, how does God speak to you per se, but talking about this as a visualization of God's language. So, you know, what does that mean, right? And frankly, that, that, that was kind of the question uh, for me really and, and what I was trying to tackle. And from a visual standpoint, uh, you know, what does God's language look like? What does God speak look like? And for me, I remember looking at um, Braille um, in its visual format, right? Um, as a sighted person, I don't know how to read Braille, but just looking at it, it made me think about coding and language that is unknown in a whole different format to me that I am not used to you know, he hearing or speaking or understanding really, right? But that also then had me think about coding and how language happens in general. And so that idea that as a, for me as a sighted person looking at this language that is felt, um, but also you know, constructed in this dot-like form matrix, um, it made me just think about both the hands-on aspect of language and creation mixed with sight and what does that look like and what does that mean and then it got me you know computer coding and ones and zeros and so all these things were kind of factoring in um, but the initial the the overall structure that you see is taken from or borrowed from um, that braille like system um, and so yeah again what am i doing i'm looking at multiple layers of paint um, digging, diving into them, exposing layers underneath. Uh, the form itself is, based, is built on a triangular block form. Uh, why the triangle? One, geometrically, one of the most strongest forms you know, known to us. Um, and so thinking about that in the midst of what would you know, God use as a means of communicating. And I just kind of picture this idea like this 
twerking and moving of the fingers and shifting and, and all this taking place on so many multiple levels. And so when you look at the piece, you know, each individual block is, is, a, is an entity unto itself, right? Um, but yet in the whole, when you pull it out, it begins to create this, this formulaic system. Uh, and so that's where the idea of, of you know, God speak kind of came, came about for me. And so like I said, in each of them, there's just multiple layers. There's carvings on some, you know, not on others. There's, uh, you know, metal in, inserted, all types of things. And so just kind of really thinking about elemental aspects of, of life, um, again, coding, coding of the body, all of these type things kind of come into play. Other aspects which make up God speak are graffiti and abstract expressionists from a, you know, aesthetic point of view. Um, the base a lot of times is kind of a graffiti base um, and then kind of layering this abstract expressionist type of method on top of it with uh, latex paint that I'm then peeling back and exposing these various layers and tagging and things of that nature. Uh, on top of what I already mentioned, some of the carving that's taking place on there. So in different pieces, you'll, you'll see different you know, aspects that are, that are coming to light. But I feel like that idea around graffiti being one of these art forms that is um, a lived in the street, in the world art form. Um, that has now made its way into galleries, but you know, it's something we encounter and experience on a daily basis in and amongst nature now. And so there's that aspect, but then you add on this other layer that you're allowed, that, that often you, you'll see, again, in our daily lives, peeling and, and, and coming off and aging. And so there's this um, aging, this, this, this lived experience that's taking place on top of these blocks as well. So another aesthetic influence is that of the Nkisi and Kandi um, power figures. And you'll see the metal um, inserted screws, nails, things of that nature um, inserted into the piece. Um, that obviously referencing uh, African, some African spiritualism there in particular from the Congo. Um, and again, another aspect bringing in that I think about along the lines of spirit and God and communication. Um, some of the other elements you'll see are these um, concentric forms in the sense of whether it's either universe or wood grain kind of line work mixed in, both thinking around nature, you'll see cloud-like forms, um, repeated uh, concentric circles, um, all of which are kind of just adding to the, you know, the elements, I guess you could say, the, that make up the, the language that's, that's taking place here. This piece is still in progress. It's a, it's a work in progress, really. And I think about this as being essentially the first iteration or like the first phrase, so to speak. Uh, and so I, this is something that I can very much imagine being on a 100-foot wall, 200-foot wall, just continually going and, and, and expanding what is on here, you know, what you see and what's mixed in and incorporated. Uh, so it is definitely a work in progress. And along with that, I imagine the definition around it will, will continue to expand as well. So that's something I'm looking forward to and that will, that's moving forward in the studio now as we speak. Again, this is Wesley Clark, God Speak. Thank you. Another one, just in case. Um, was it? There's other things I was going to mention around that too. Play back individual pieces. Right. So 